All right, Dave, I got you unprepared this time. We're recording. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to tell you. You silly. I'm the one that you told me to hit record, and then you said that. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't make any sense. Oh, well. Welcome, everyone, to another mini episode of Break Room Bullshit. This is going to be an X-Files review. The X-Files. Yeah, yeah. Solder and Mully. Yeah. Solder. Scoldly. Scold. Uh, okay. Fuck you, man. (laughs) So first, hey, let's, um... Put this let's pen talk, away. Let's, let's talk about our yeah. Don't do that. Let's talk about our YouTube page. It's a uh, break room BS, break room space BS. Uh, go to YouTube and find that page. Just it's really easy to find. I find it all the time. Hit that little subscribe button right. if you are listening on YouTube right now. Just subscribe right down there. See, yeah, I'm yeah. pointing down. They can see that. Mm-hmm. This is a video show. I didn't tell you. Subscribe to it. Great. And then it also has links to our Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud on there. So if you want to download it off SoundCloud, you can do that. If you love it that much, you want to like, I want to have this on my phone so when I have to go to the bathroom, I can jerk off and listen to him talk or something. Uh, 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 Instagram, you can do look and look at stuff. We're funny. Yeah, our, all our links and stuff are on the yeah. YouTube page. So let's just start off by, by giving a nice spoiler, because I'm basically going to ruin the whole episode. Spoiler. Yeah, Spoiler. Yeah, yeah. So Spoiler. Here we, here we go. Spoiler. Spoilers. Here we go. Maybe you don't know what you're looking for. Like evidence of conjury or the black arts or shamanism, divination, Wicca or any kind of pagan or neo-pagan practice. Charms, cards, familiars, bloodstones or hex signs or any of the ritual tableau associated with the occult, santeria, voodoo, macumba or any high or low magic. Scully? Yes. Marry me. This episode is entitled, this is season 11, episode 4, The Lost Art of Forehead Sweat. <laughs> Dude, I hate that. You get real into something and the forehead sweat and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I the, tried, Dave. That's the name of the episode. I did, I, can I just make them aware of my, my, my worries? You're worried that you don't know anything? Yeah, I'm worried that I'm just going to sit here and be dead silent the whole time. We've, we've done like three F- X-Files reviews before this. I, I, dude, I don't remember how they went, to be honest. That's good. Um, well, first of all, from the title alone, I knew it would be one, a funny one. Uh, every, like, X-Files would always do, like, every now and then in a season, they do, like, funny episodes, like, parody ones that are pretty funny. So, you're Where, right. Where'd the name go? It's up there. The, oh. the big letters. Okay. So, I knew it was going to be a funny episode, and those are always pretty great. Um, but, okay, so it starts off with this weird opening. It's in black and white. And uh, there's this dude in a diner talking to this waiter about aliens and how he's all freaked out because he sees aliens outside. And the diner, the, 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 the waiter's like, what are you talking about? And he goes, look right there. I see him right now. And he goes, that's a mirror. You're looking in a mirror. <laughs> he walks up to the mirror and there's this weird six-armed alien with all this fucking weird, like, I'm like, what the fuck? And then the, the waiter comes over and takes off his hat and he has devil horns. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. And I'm like... It was weird. That was the opening. Little Beelzebub there. Yeah, I'm like, from this opening, I'm like, this is going to be weird <laughs> shit. One of those uh, goofy episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the devil. Um, I mean, I don't worship him. I'm just a fan of his work, you know? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's some pretty cool shit. Like, he's the reason we have, what, like, Jennifer Lawrence, right? Are you, don't, fuck you. You're not allowed to talk the rest of the show. <laughs> Um, now, okay, now let me just say this, Gable, preface the, before I go into any of this. I don't know how funny you're going to find this stuff, because I'm going to be just describing some scenes and what happens in them. If you're, like, any hardcore fans of the show, like, they're dying. I talked to someone at work about this who loves the X-Files. Dude, we're just, like, talking, like, it, it's so funny. Shit happens just so funny. But I don't know if you're going to find this stuff, but if you'll find it, it's funny. But, um, so after the cold open, right, Mulder goes into his apartment, wearing this, like, <laughs> retarded camouflage outfit with like grass and leaves and stuff like he was just in the woods like a ghillie suit from call of duty yeah exactly like that smart you yeah add, you added i don't know if i pronounced it correctly I, did. I didn't know if it was like ghillie or giddy you did. i just i started with a g and went for it you did it yeah so he walks into his apartment he gets on the phone and he's talking to scully and he says that he was squatching which is apparently that's the term for hiding out in the woods and looking for Bigfoot. He was squatching in the corner. He was he was squatching, Squanch. not squatching. <laughs> he was squatching, and, and he's talking to Scully and just starts going into his story. He's like, "Hey, wait, did I ever tell you about the time thirty five years ago I found this Bigfoot footprint? It was really cool." And then he starts like talking and keeps talking. And she's like, "No more!" I, I, and she's like interrupting him. And he's ignoring her completely and just rambling on about this. And she just like hangs up on him. 
<laughs> it, 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 it's, just, it's just so funny. Like, he's just rambling on about this Bigfoot thing that happened. And, so that was pretty funny. Um, but, uh, so, but, but I also love... Uh, another reason I thought it was super funny is we've been talking about Sasquatch, I think, the past few months a decent amount. We keep bringing them up every now and then, right? We, we do. Uh <laughs> Are you talking about me and you? I was talking about me and Tito, I think. Oh, yeah, I got confused. I forgot who you were. <laughs> I forgot who I was for a second too. <laughs> I was watching a lot of uh I've been watching a lot of Bigfoot stuff. So I thought it was really funny that he was squatching. So it was pretty cool. I met him once. Squatch? Yeah. A Sasquatch? Yeah. Didn't you like put some news article out where like he attacked you and raped you or something? No, he he just uh he he just served me yogurt from a yogurt stand. That's nice. Remember when someone read that, that article to us about that guy that reported to the news he got raped by a Sasquatch? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was pretty cool. That's a really weird report. It's so so funny. Uh, to back to what matters, um, in the background. I thought this was badass as fuck, and any X Files fans would agree. There's an X taped on his window. In the original series, anytime Mulder wanted to have his contact medium to talk to him about something, he would put an X up there, and then they would eventually see it, and they'd meet him somewhere. It's the same contact every time, or just like it's a it's a universal, a, a, a uh, well, it, used one. It depended. It was. It was the same contact until they died, and then he got a different one. Okay, so, so okay, I got yeah. It. So it was like a callback to like the show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I was like, that was pretty cool. I like that. Um, so uh, some dude meets up with Mulder in a garage. Okay, we find out this dude's name is Reggie something because he doesn't know his last name, so his name's just Reggie something. Uh, he starts talking like weird conspiracy stuff to Mulder, and as a couple of guys show up to get him. He tells Mulder that the first episode of the Twilight Zone that Mulder ever saw never existed. He's like, things are these crazy things are happening. You have to believe me. That you know that show you you fell in love with Twilight Zone. He's like, yeah. he's like that never even happened. He's like, what are you talking about, dude? That that's like a that's like a thing upon its own right there. Is like it's its own Twilight episode, not having the Twilight episode there. Twilight's a terrible movie with vampires, Gable. Twilight Zone. You did it. <laughs> Fuck. I was like, why is he staring at me? What's he trying to figure out right now? How it's going to feel when I'm inside you. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so then Mulder... Okay, this, this, this had me die. So Mulder goes home. You see him sitting on the floor, right? And he's frantically going through his v- boxes of VHS tapes all over the floor. He's going through them all panicky. And he tells Scully what happened. And he says, he goes, I went through my DVD set, my Blu-ray set, and all my Twilight Zone episode guides. I can't find it anywhere. And he goes, but it's got to be my VHS tapes because I record my VHS tapes. I recorded every single episode when they happened. It's got to be in here. <laughs> so then Scully goes, well, maybe it was Outer Limits and not Twilight Zone. And you're just confused. And he goes, confused Outer Limits with Twilight Zones? You don't even know me, Scully. And he like, starts <laughs> freaking out on her. This is really funny shit. No, it's. I mean, yeah, it definitely sounds like it's yeah. tugging at the uh, the hearts of the uh, the fans. The fans there. So then they go to a flashback of Mulder talking about his love of Twilight Zone as a kid, mm-hmm. and you see him sitting on a couch, and it's a kid's body with current Mulder's old head on his body. <laughs> What the fuck is going on here? Big old fucking bobblehead guy. Dude, yeah, yeah, this big ass head. And I'm like, this, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm ready to piss my pants. I'm like, this is so fucking funny. And I, it made me laugh. I have to pause and think about how funny it was. <sighs> Contribute. Um. So. God, it was so funny. Um. A, <laughs> the head was C, so big. D, e, F. You just get B and C and D. L M N O P. You said A E C F <laughs> Q R T. All right, this is this is the contribution we're looking at. Okay, so what happens? You gave next? me a silent spot on, like, and you put me like right there in the spotlight. Here's what happened. We're gonna be talking about some balls at some point soon. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys will hear. You just got the ball, and you dropped that fucker. I was like, "Here's the ball, go, man! It's it's all you. Here's the spotlight." And you were like. A V D F G R. That was funny. Q. It's pretty funny. Um, okay, so after this is happening, they meet up with Reggie again. Okay, Mulder and Scully do. He says a guy named Doctor They is erasing erasing people's memories of things, including a memory of Reggie when he was 18 years old, seeing the government taking away a live alien. Then he says after that happened, he joined the FBI and he was their third partner for years. 
And they're like, what are you talking about? So, so then, oh my god. Have you seen the opening theme video of X Files? Like, yeah, 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 I know the theme. So, <clears throat> Twenty minutes into the show, it cuts to the opening theme, <laughs> and it has Reggie into the theme. <laughs> it has really like funny. it has like a badge with his face on it, and it says Reggie something. And then the shot of them walking through like a door with flashlights. He's in the background walking through with them, and I'm like, dude, this is the greatest shit ever. So then it ends, and then it starts showing different clips from the series with him added into the clips. Like, one or two minute clips of episodes of things they're doing, yeah, and he's yeah. just like, he's there. Like, they superimposed him into the old clips and just added him into the fucking show. And, like, every, like all these different things are happening that you watch, but now Reggie's in the show now, too, and he's, like, doing stuff. And, like, dude, it's fucking hilarious. Like, dude, it was so fucking good. They just added him into, the, like, a bunch of old episodes. Yeah. And then they go through, like, three or four different just clips from different shows, and I'm like, this is great shit. Um, it sounds like it took, like, did they reshoot it? Or like, no, they, they they just literally took super those, those scenes yeah. and just added them into it. That's yeah. really funny. Dude, it was fucking great. It was so fucking funny. And everything he's saying is just fucking funny. He's just, like, wisecracking, <laughs> making stupid fucking comments, like, making parody of the episodes they were in and the things that are happening. It was just great, great shit. Great shit. So then, wait, this is, okay, oh, there's the, I, 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 I like, paused it and I watched Scully and jerked off for a while next. So I'm, like, I'm just trying to... Is that, is that when she was the hottest fuck girl of the, girl of the day on our Instagram at BreakroomBS? No, I was looking at like n- naked videos of her. I just wanted to plug the, if, the, if, the Instagram. If, if anyone's curious, she was naked in a movie called The Turning. You can look that up. She has a naked scene in there. Um, she has a, a couple a sex, a sex scene and a rape scene in a movie called Straight Head. That's the thing, too. I wasn't jerking off to the rape scene, I swear. I didn't actually pause and jerk off, in case you were wondering. What are you doing right now? You're just there I'm, I'm waiting for you to continue. You're an asshole. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have anything to add to that one. You never jerked off to Scully. No! Molder, baby. <laughs> Dave, the company's my shit. I jerked off to him in Californication. <laughs> Have you ever watched that? Yeah. Is it good? I watched three seasons and got super pissed and stopped watching the fucking show. Well, what, what pushes what pushed like, you over the edge? Basically what happens is he has sex with an underage girl, but she lies about her age, so he doesn't know it. So throughout the series, she's getting pissed and kind of just like blackmailing him, and it was really annoying me that this kept happening. And For like three seasons. Dude, this is like throughout the show. He, <laughs> he fucked her in like the pilot. <laughs> Dude, it, I feel like they took like something that should be a plot or like a, a B story plot and just made it the whole concept for Dude, the show, it sounds like. Seriously. it like, And then it gets to the point where she's like, she's just telling on him. And he's going to have to go to court about it. I'm like, I'm fucking done. This is a, I've put up with three seasons of this bullshit. Dude, I've heard nothing but people... Like, the people who have watched it have, have said nothing but good things about it. But it doesn't sound interesting at all. I think it starts off great, but it just gets fucking annoying. Like, I'm like, I'm tired of this storyline. She's same a fucking... Plot, let's move on. Yeah, she's being a fucking bitch. And, like... She, all these things starts happening, and she's like, "Well, you got to help me with this, or I'm going to tell on you." And I'm like, "This is stupid." Yeah, I uh, agree. So. A, a guy that's been in that situation, like, fuck that shit. I, no, I've never. I'm pulling my collar like I'm nervous. You yeah. did it. You did it. You did the thing. Yeah. Everyone, look at him pull his collar. Fuck you. All right, back to what the mini episode's about. Fucking I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, he was superimposed into, uh, and so, then he paused and drove off. So Dr. They meets with Mulder and basically tells him that he can't actually change people's memories, and he's just using the internet and misinformation to spread bullshit and just fuck with people because it's fun, and to make them think that he can do crazy shit. <laughs> like, like, he's just fucking with this Reggie guy. He's, he's basically saying he's lying. So it, it turns out that Reggie is actually a crazy dude, that escaped from a nut house. So earlier, he asked Mulder and Scully, how, like, how can you not even remember me? Don't you even remember our last case together? And they're like, what the fuck? You're, you're whatever. We don't know what you're talking about. That was earlier in the show. So as, they're, as the, 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 the mental institution workers are taking him away, they have him in a fucking straight jacket and shit, uh, they're taking him away. Mulder asks, so what happened in, their, in the last case? Because they're taking him away. And he goes, they, we found the truth. And then, <laughs> it's great. This is like the end of the episode at this point. Okay, so it cuts to the three of them. 
driving in a convertible, right? And Moore is like in the back, like leaning forward, smiling, and Scully's like going like this the whole time, driving the car like it's fake bullshit driving. <laughs> uh, yeah, like moving the steering wheel back and forth. And no, like, I, just, I got you. I'm Good. trying to explain it to them. They can't yeah. see what I'm doing. I was, yeah, I was going to contribute more, but I guess not. Go. Yeah, like when they do it in uh, like a, a sketch show on like Mad TV. Exactly, like yeah. in a con, they're just like over dramatically how you yeah. drive. So they're doing that. I'm glad I contributed. You did. I did it. I hate you. <laughs> uh, so they're driving and they find, the, you know what the Voyager probe is? Uh, that's the Star Trek season that no one it cared about. It is not anything to do with Star Trek. The Voyager is an actual probe we sent into space to make contact with life forms. We put like a bunch of like music and stuff on it and stuff about humanity and all that. You, you, really, dude? We've never sent anything into space ever. I hate you. <laughs> it's all been fake. I hate you. So they're driving and they find the Voyager probe crashed on the side of the road. Okay, an alien ship lands as they're looking at this crashed Voyager probe. An alien comes out and then approaches them, riding a Segway. He he tells them that they have been studying mankind. And don't want to have any contact with us because we're liars and we basically just suck. <laughs> and the aliens are building a wall. <laughs> he goes, we're building a wall. He goes, it's a beautiful wall, but it's invisible. It's an invisible electromagnetic wall around our solar system that will incinerate anything that tries to get past it. So we can't leave. So then he goes, since you can't go anywhere, I'm going to give you a book that has the answers to any question ever. And he gives more of this book that says on the front all the answers. So the alien then rides off on his Segway and parks next to his ship. It's really funny. And he gets in the ship and flies away. So the motor says, so this is the truth? We aren't alone, but nobody likes us? <laughs> and Scully goes, well, we have the X-Files. And Mulder opens the book up and he goes, no, they give us all the answers to everything, even Sasquatch. <laughs> goes, and then he starts talking like a child in a whiny voice and he goes, no, it's not true, it can't be. And he throws the book on the ground and just goes, nah, and falls <laughs> on the ground. And just, like, he just falls on the ground and just is laying there kicking his feet. Dude, this sounds like a parody of it, like the, the parody of itself. It's so it's funny. so funny. He falls on the ground and is like kicking his fucking feet. And then Reggie's sitting there, and Scully's just like, you know, Reggie, I've always loved... And he stops, he goes, no, no, because Mulder's right there. He doesn't want her to tell him she's in love with him. <laughs> and then Mulder gets on his knees and starts just hugging Reggie. <laughs> and Scully's sitting there, and it just, like, cuts back to the <laughs> him being taken away in a fucking, <laughs> fucking nut, nut, like a nut house. Yeah, no, I got you. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a little ambulance to take him to the madhouse. Yeah. So it cuts back to that, and then the show just ends with, like, a quick scene of Mulder and Scully just talking, and... Dude, it was... It sounds really funny. The show was... I'm, after, I texted you after the show. I'm like, I, I want to talk about this. <laughs> so if I can, I'm sitting there, like, walking around my apartment, like, this is the funniest shit I've ever seen. This was so great. I just, like, it, it was it was great. Fucking 10 Sparkle Dogs. 10 Sparkle Dogs. This would get 50 Dude, if, we could, if we went to 50. I just realized we gave the wrestling show no Sparkle Dogs at any point. Are we supposed to do that? I don't know. I feel like we should have, like... I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you're right. We'll think about it. You're right. Do we give the whole... Sh we'll talk about it out later. We'll do that later. Yeah. Um, so it gets 10 Sparkle Dogs. This is one of my favorite of all 11 seasons, episodes of all time. It was fucking hilarious. And it was like... It was parody of itself. And, and even after the show, everything in the episode could have happened. It could be canon. Because it was a fucking... Not a, like a crazy guy telling stories. You yeah, know I mean? it was nothing at yeah, the end. It was great. It was fucking... I loved it. That sounds really funny. I, I loved it. Dude, the sense of the universe sounds like some of the episodes of uh, you, you were talking that Ashley about Supernatural. It, yeah. it, it's it's about the same tone as some of their is like it? jokey episodes. Yeah, is that the kind of a thing they do? Like every now and then they'll just have a funny like a funny episode. Yeah, there was like an episode. I, I can't remember how jokey this episode <coughs> ended up being, but there was like an episode where like the one character was like reliving. It was like a Groundhog Day episode, and it was, they do they did like some goofy stuff in it. Dude, X Files is a Groundhog Day episode. I, I feel like it, like it's some X Files that, wasn't a goofy one. That theirs was a serious. Theirs one. was a serious yeah. one. But you're right. Like every show probably Star probably. Trek Next Generation has done a Groundhog Day episode. <laughs> they probably done two. They've done more than that, I think. <laughs> two. That's pussy that's, shit. They've had five series. Fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, it was great. Um, you have anything else to add? Mm, no. Um, well, that's cool. No. Oh. Well, since you said it like that, that changes everything. Yeah. 
<laughs> no. Um, I, I, Adventure Time was on last night. I watched a part of Adventure Time. Did you watch the Billy West one? No, it was just it came on after X Files, so I left it on. Mm-hmm. I, it was like I had stuff to do, so I didn't watch the whole show. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't blame you. It, it, it's there in, unless you. It depends on what episode, I guess. Some some of the episodes are very like very kid oriented and don't really have anything. But they, they a were, lot of them were, have the, like this like over like a very adult toned mythology. Like the the whole premise of the show is it takes place on this post nuclear war planet. They they were going to some little town because someone said something got stolen and they got to the town and everybody was stealing stuff from everyone. There's a scene where everyone was stealing. You, you, you were watching it on Hulu and you picked up where I left off. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> Whatever. We share a Hulu just like we share beds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, for the, I'm definitely going to watch the Billy West one, though. The Billy West one was, was pretty good. I'm going to watch it. Maybe that will get me into the show. I, I, dude, I, I wouldn't even expect you to, to get into the show, to be honest. We haven't really discussed how, like... Have we even discussed on the show how much you love Rick and how much we love Rick and Morty? Rick and Morty's amazing. Okay, I have never seen Rick and Morty in my life. Gable has been watching it for I don't know at this point like a year maybe. Have you been watching it for more than longer than that? No, it wasn't Dude, that long. Was it, it was as soon as it got as soon as well, it was probably but it was before season two got put on Hulu. So I don't know how long ago that was. We'll just go with a year. So you've probably been watching it for a year, and I'd hear you talk about it, and you'd be like, Dave. Watch Rick and Morty. I'm just like, no, go fuck yourself. And you probably you probably asked me half a dozen times to watch it. Like, I'm gonna get you to watch it. So, dude, it's that sci-fi aspect. I knew it was gonna yeah. draw you in a lot to it, dude. It's it's hard it's hard for me not to say it's my favorite cartoon of all time. Now, it, and, and I couldn't think of anything. I love happened. South Park a lot. You think you th- it's over South Park? That's what I'm saying. I'd have to th- I'd have to debate it. I don't know if I can't say it's better than South Park. It's definitely in the, the upper echelon. It's already your... it's it's. That and South Park are my two favorite cartoons ever. It's it's above Futurama, and I fucking love Futurama. I know, you like Futurama. Futurama does... It, dude, Futurama is really yeah, fucking good. It's, it's up there. But yeah, well, yeah, Rick and Morty's amazing. We're, we're done. What are you doing? Why are you rambling on about fucking Rick and Morty here? I don't know. This was about the X-Files. It's a sci-fi show. You're right. It's sci-fi. Is Although it? it only came up because it went from Adventure Time to Rick and Morty. That's true. Um, well, let's go over a pre- Okay, so the next episode is going to be dropping this Sunday or Monday. It's going to have some news on it, a uh, Thor review, and possibly a new segment we're going to come up with. Um, we're going to go over the changes to the episode format, the changes once again, and our, our mini episodes we're doing. We'll discuss that further in this new episode. Yeah, I mean, we might have... To, you might see some, some changes coming up in the form. We're just trying to find something that works... Yeah, for us. So <laughs> we're what matters. We're Fuck what you matters. Guys. Fuck you guys. All right. So yeah, make sure you go to our YouTube channel, uh, Break Room BS, and subscribe to it. There's links to everything. Our Instagram is Break Room BS. If you're ever on there, our Twitter is at Break Room BS One, and you can go to SoundCloud to uh, just search it on SoundCloud, stream or download it. That's it. Fuck this. We're out. Yeah. Let's go. Thanks, guys. All right. Later. Subscribe. Dudes. Yeah, subscribe. Definitely click subscribe. See ya down there. <laughs>